For some, September means back to work and school, but it's also a perfect time to study and book your travel plans. Whether you're looking to learn firsthand about history, shopping, dining, or sailing, Carol Schneider has a course of action for you. Carol is a travel agent and the owner of Cleveland Travel. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me on it. So tell us, what's a city that's easy to get to that we may not usually consider? It's Baltimore. Baltimore, okay. This is, a, this is a city that you can easily drive to or fly to from Cleveland. And you can enjoy the many sights of the city or you can use it as a port to enjoy a cruise to the Bahamas. You can take a cruise to the Bahamas from Baltimore. I thought you had to go to Florida or someplace south to, to get that kind of a cruise. Not anymore. Royal Caribbean and Carnival now have several cruises that sail from Baltimore to Bermuda, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. Since there's further to go, are they more expensive? They are very competitively priced. Hmm. Uh, like any cruise, it depends on the type of accommodations you select, the number of days you cruise, and the time of year you go. Um, at this time of year, we might want to see uh, fall fo foliage instead of sandy beaches. Do you have any advice there? Oh, I sure do. Uh, Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Seas has a Canada and New England fall foliage cruise. What is this we're looking at? Okay, this is the deck of the Enchantment of the Seas. Mm. Looks, Looks beautiful, yeah. And that would be the promenade. And this sails from Baltimore on September 8th, September 22nd, and October 6th for nine nights. While there is still some availability, these sailings are so popular that many of the discounts are already sold out. Now currently, prices for 2011 in an interior stateroom start at $1,149 for September 8th, $1,049 for September 22nd, and $899 per person for October 6th. What if we, uh, I mean, your idea about going to Baltimore was nice. What if we want to stay, stay in Baltimore? Is there anything to do there? Oh, there's lots to do. Um, American Cruise Lines offers cruises around Chesapeake Bay and down the intracoastal waterways. Now, these are smaller ships, approximately 100 passengers, and they can visit ports and explore shallow waters where big cruise ships cannot go. Is this one of the smaller ships you're talking about? Absolutely. Okay. And they can cruise around Baltimore, basically. They, they these cruise around Chesapeake Bay, and they do um, what they call a Mid-Atlantic Inland Passage Cruise, which goes from Baltimore to Charleston. Oh. And it stops in Annapolis, Yorktown, Norfolk, Kitty Hawk, Wilmington, and Myrtle Beach. Well, not all of our viewers are seafaring folk. Uh, is there anything to do in Baltimore for us land lovers? <laughs> oh, you, yes, indeed. Baltimore is one of the world's oldest seaports and one of the newest vacation destinations. Uh, Baltimore's Inner Harbor is a newly developed area. It's surrounded by many hotels, wonderful, wonderful museums, and restaurants. And especially, I've enjoyed the restaurants there. <laughs> oh, good. And so also, fun. isn't that where the aquarium is? Absolutely. That's the wonderful beautiful. National Aquarium. You walk right to it. Lots of things to do there, and I uh, appreciate your great information today. Thank you for joining us. Well, you're entirely welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm ready to pack my bag. How about you? For your ticket to a great trip, give Carol a call. Her number's up next. Find out more by calling Cleveland Travel at 440-808-9301 or visit their website at www.clevelandtravel.com. Next, a Medicaid rule that's unfair for couples.